Hey everybody and welcome back to our Bloodborne Kirkhammer playthrough. When last we left off, we took out the Shadows of Yarnum, Whatever these guys are called. I think they're called the Shadows of Yarnum. And to get started today, let's get right into the most important thing. The drink of the day, the drink of choice is dark green tea from a classic Japanese pet bottle that I purchased at a uh, Asian grocery store. Yep. That is the classic flavor I'm used to. Good old drink I used to get from the vending machines in Japan. Or from the convenience stores, or both. But not both simultaneously. Because usually you don't order from a convenience store while simultaneously ordering from a, a uh, machine. Get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Okay. It's all okay. It's all okay. We're in Bergenworth. Bergenworth is... This place can be a little bit difficult at first. Um, when these guys grab you, they have the potential to stack, let's see, they have the potential to stack Frenzy, and I have no sedatives. That is interesting. I, okay. Not sure how I made it all the way to this point in the game with not a single sedative on me. But, nothing we can do about it now, other than, like, go back and, you know, get a sedative. So I guess there is something we could do about it. But we're not going to. As I play this episode, I'm also simultaneously doing a playthrough of The Witcher 3. Uh, I'm a little concerned that I won't be able to, f I won't finish it all because I'm trying to get the game played for a review. But man, it's, it's a massive game and there's a lot of storyline and it's just not the game I'm used to. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yep. Oh, I got him. I got him. Wow. How did he not get me first? I thought he went for a grab attack and had me. I am lucky. No, I'm not lucky, actually. I'm highly skilled. That was all skill. What's done is done. And Baxter Stockman is dead. Or... Could it be Jeff Goldblum after he went through the teleportation device where the fly got stuck in it? The fly. You know, I'm realizing that, given my age, there are probably some of you who have no idea... Oh, come on now. Interesting? That was clearly, uh, messed up. <laughs> no, don't pop off. Wow, look how close I got. Yeah, there are probably some of you who have never heard of some of these movies that I'm talking about. Or never seen them. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Get out of here, punk. Yeah, I really I really should return and uh, restore my blood vials and quicksilver bullets. Since we expended quite a few in the boss fight. Which is not unusual. Shadows of Yarnum can be a little difficult. It depends, you know, sometimes that, that fight goes one way, sometimes it goes another way. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Gotta love the sound effects on this guy. Ah, I didn't make a direct connect. Man, that's doing no damage. Oh, I didn't realize that that actually captures you. Okay. Well, now I know. Okay. It's an insta-kill. Nice. It's an insta-kill. Well done, FromSoft. I should have expected no less. Tanimura, is that you? Have you surfaced in my Bloodborne? All right, let's try this again. See if we can do better this time. Do better. Okay, that didn't work out. All 
Let's see if we can get up here before that other dude comes at us. Okay, we made it. Here's what's his face. Ah, I don't want to trigger that guy in the uh, brain sucker, dude. That would not be good. Oh, come on now. There we go. That's how it's done, my friends. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Both of those missed? I don't get it. Whatever. Oh, that was close. Um, no, I don't think so. Insta kill. Man, that guy's cheap. That is so cheap. That is so lame. Well. It is what it is, so we, I mean, I've been over this a hundred thousand times already in this playthrough. We've seen Miyazaki's fall from grace. He is no longer the Dark Souls Miyazaki we know and love. He's the deeply flawed, imperfect developer that uh, is capable of producing Dark Souls 2 level crap. That's, you know, that's, that, I mean, that kind of stuff is just garbage. It's trash. Oh, yeah, there you go, buddy. All right, let's try this again, see if we can get past this garbage. What the heck? Are you kidding me? That didn't even stagger him? Man, this is such garbage. That is such bull. That is such bull crap from Soft. Wow. That's 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 beyond Dark Souls 2 level crap. Wrong direction, Miyazaki. You are losing it, man. You are losing it. Get it together, Miyazaki. Get it together, man. You make another game going in this direction, and I guarantee you it's 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 gonna be I mean, it's just going to be way over the edge and unacceptable. Okay, can I, can I, hello, 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 hello? I, I'm, I'm, am I, am I here? Do I have any input to give during this session whatsoever? I mean, what, what was going on there? I could do nothing with my controller. I just, it was completely unresponsive. Well done, FromSoft. Miyazaki, you're a genius. Oh, Miyazaki, you're a genius. Yeah, this is, yeah. There's a reason why people talk about this area being difficult. This is not a difficult area. This is a bull crap area, is what it is. It's just garbage. It's not difficult, it's trash. Alright, keep moving. Just run past this trash. Don't stop for this garbage. I'm better than this. I'm better than this. I need not stop and lower myself to this garbage. And make sure you sprint super fast right there, because, you know, that's some tiny motor crap right there. Do your super fast sprint. Do your Dark Souls 2 super fast sprint. There you go. That's your Dark Souls 2 super fast sprint. Oh, well, hello there. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, Tani Mura. Tani Mura! Did you work on this game? Are you sure it was Miyazaki who was in charge and not Tani Mura? Are you sure Miyazaki worked on this game? Welcome to Bergenworth. Um, 
Okay. Man, this is such crap. This is such crap. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how much garbage this level design is. I mean, really, the enemies, not so much the level design. I mean, the enemies. It's just... Wow. Wow. I mean... Jeez. Oh, gosh. I swear, like, these enemies, after you kill them, they just remain alive with one HP just to screw you over. It happens so often, it can't be a coincidence. It's got to be an intentional design decision. Like, they, they just stay alive with one HP. Wow, Miyazaki. You are totally losing it. I mean, I, I just... There's no excuse for this kind of trash. That's sad, though. It is sad. Because, you know, you, you think... You, when you play Dark Souls 2, you're like, yeah, this is... this is a, You know, this game's got some issues. So you think, well, there's hope because Miyazaki didn't work on it. Well, here you go, guys. Miyazaki worked on this, so... Yep. It is what it is. You can't undo this mess. Alright, let's go up here and deal with this broken enemy. Okay, no backstab? I guess not. Ah, finally, we got rid of him. Actually, I guess we didn't need to come back up here again, because we already got the, uh, the rune, so... I guess we can just proceed, proceed onward. Wow, wow, this, this, I mean, wow, Miyazaki. What happened? What happened to you? What happened to you? What happened to you? I mean, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and this? I mean, it's like, what did you, what happened? I mean, did you just, did you look at Tanimura's crap and think that that was good stuff? I mean, Tanimura is just, Tanimura, he goes in there and he takes a dump and that's Dark Souls 2. And what, you thought that you would copy some of that design? Why would you ever even think of copying that design? It's, I mean, it's just, I don't know. Anyway, back to business. Excuse me while I sneak behind you. And dead. Or not. <laughs> See? I swear! It's a freaking design to stay alive with one little HP left or something. Because how many times has that happened already? I swear, it's like a design intentional element. Yep, look at that super fast Dark Souls 2 charge speed right there. Make sure to catch you while you're trying to run away. There we go. Yeah, this is... Bergenworth is an, just an example of how Miyazaki is losing his edge. There's some sedative. Finally, that's our first sedative we've gotten so far in this playthrough, surprisingly. All right, we can open this. That allow us to skip that whole segment over there. So a bit of a, a shortcut. Then we got this guy in here, which he's this hunter is mostly okay, except he does that ridiculous arcane attack, which can practically one shot you and flies all over the place, and you can't reliably dodge it. You know, I guess it's Dark Souls two style right there. really don't get the point of this door because, well, I don't know. I mean, by the time you open that door, you've already got a better shortcut over there. So, really not sure what that door is really, is there for. Like, what what would you, why would you ever want to go through that door specifically? I don't know. If you guys know, list it in the comment section below. Yeah, I get, I get very salty over bad design in these games because I expect so much more from Miyazaki. You know, this is this is so below his level. 
based on you know everything he's done in Dark Souls and and, and uh, Demon Souls. Notice it didn't shoot where I was locked on. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and my visceral did like crap damage. Look at that. I, can, can you even see his health bar moving? What the heck? That's pathetic. Okay. Oh, jeez. Miyazaki, Miyazaki, what happened to you? You used to have actual skill and development. You used to actually design games that were challenging and fun. Now you're just pulling some Dark Souls 2 annoying crap. Yeah, right, right there. That can hit you and be nearly impossible to reliably dodge and do massive amounts of damage and practically one-shot you. Miyazaki, man. Oh, Miyazaki. He is no longer my hero. Well, he never really was. <laughs> Had he been my hero, he definitely would be off the list by now. But I can tell you, after Bloodborne, my opinion of him has gone down the drain significantly. Um, I held him in pretty high regard. I never thought of him as like this gaming god like a lot of other people did. But uh, I definitely thought of him as being far superior to Tanimura in so many ways. But then, you know, basically this is the same crap that Tanimura can, you know, dump out of his behind. Lunarium Key. What's up here? Yeah, this area just... Oh, it's so disappointing. It's so disappointing to see, you know... Miyazaki at his at his low point. Uh, you gonna come down here? You gonna make me come up there? Okay. There you go. All right. What's in here? I've totally forgotten what's in here. Empty phantasm shell. Eh probably something for like a uh actually hang on is that empty shell that applies arcane power to weapon oh okay okay i see what that is basically using quicksilver bullets it's a reusable arcane based weapon buff okay that's, that's actually not bad i never took notice of that before at least i don't recall taking notice of it Of course, you will always have those people that think that Miyazaki is their lord, and uh, they bow down to him and kiss his feet, and, and uh, if any, you say anything negative, they'll freak out about it. All right, it's the Rom fight, guys. Everyone's favorite fight. Hey there. I would like to introduce you to Mr. Kirkhammer. Weapon at risk. What in the heck is happening lately? What is up lately? I've, I, in my previous playthroughs, I'd never once had a weapon become at risk. Is it the Kirk Hammer? But it wasn't happening earlier in the playthrough. I don't know. I don't know. Let's run back to the uh, lamp and get this thing fixed. Actually, let's just use a bold hunter's mark. It's faster. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's Miyazaki, man. He's just he's not all he's not always there. You know, it's it's kind of one of those moments where you know, you see these moments of greatness and 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 there are these moments where you just love the game and you think it's amazing. This is so well done. And then he turns around and pulls some of that bargain worth style crap and it's just and then Rom, you know, this whole area is such an example of Miyazaki just totally failing. Totally failing. Um, what are the low points of the entire game? And, I, and other people have kind of pointed it out without directly saying as much. But uh, I don't want to say who because then, you know, it'll stir up some drama. But if you listen to other popular, you know, Dark Souls community members, 
and the little comments they make during those sections of the game, like during their episodes where they're in Bergenworth, if you listen very carefully to what they're saying, um, you, you sometimes have to listen between the lines. I know it's usually read between the lines, but you kind of have to, you have to listen carefully because many of them won't openly say negative things about the game because they worship Miyazaki and, you know, they might know him personally. So they, you know, they kind of bow down to him and pray to little altars of him in their homes. I'm just, I'm exaggerating, guys. I'm being silly. But no, I mean, to a certain extent, yeah, they, they do have this affinity for Miyazaki that's probably not healthy if you want to be um, honest about the game, if you want to give it honest evaluation or review it. And so in that regard, y you can't count on them to, to state how they feel directly because it would make them feel like they're betraying their their hero Miyazaki. But listen to what people say during the playthrough when they go through Bergenworth. Like, really listen. And I think you'll find that some even super popular personalities are hinting at the problems of Bergenworth and the problems of Rom. Um, a lot of people complain about Rom. He's, yeah, he's a crap fight. Let's be honest. I, di I don't hate Rom as much as I feel like I should. I don't know why. I feel like I should join the rest of you and despise the Rom fight. I really should, because it's it's bad. It is. It is. There's no denying that. But at the same time, for some odd reason, I just don't really seem to care about it all that much. Um, I just kind of deal with it, and that's that. I hear a super fast Dark Souls 2 runner coming after me. Poor Wilhelm. We had to kill him. It had to be done. It didn't actually have to be done, but I did it anyway. You know, dude, you follow me down here is not cool. Really, it's not cool. Like, I got better things to do than deal with you. So why don't you get lost and I'm just going to jump in the sea. <laughs> Moonside Lake. Good news is you can kill the first round of spiders free of charge. There's really nothing bad that happens to you. If you heard a little sound in the background, that was uh, Sony Vegas letting me know that it had just finished rendering episode 8 of the Kirk Hammer playthrough. Uh, where are all the spiders? Maybe I should have killed the spiders first. <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe it would have been a better idea to kill the spiders first. Okay, I didn't know they could do that spit attack. That's the first time I've seen that. Oh, 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 nice. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got some advice from somebody on how to dodge this attack. Okay, nope, didn't work at all. I have no idea how to reliably dodge that attack. Nothing I do seems to work. Yep. Welcome to BS. This is such a crap fight. I, I don't know why, but I don't really hate Rom. I just, I know, like I said, I know it's a terrible fight. It's lazy design. It's ridiculous. It's over the top stupid. Um, it just employs a whole bunch of enemies. It's, it's basically an ambush encounter without the aggressiveness that you would normally expect from an ambush. Um, the stuff shooting f up from the ground or coming down from the sky is just, it's a crapshoot. It's a total crapshoot. It really is. Uh, whoops. And I've seen, you know, really popular YouTubers and, and Twitch streamers who are known for being, you know, kind of experts at this game, who are considered to be very kind of the MLG pros of the Souls community, and they die repeatedly to this boss, sometimes. Um, that's the thing, it's a crapshoot. It's kind of like, uh, this is the better chaos of Bloodborne. Um, it ought not to be this way, it's the phrase we've been using lately.
Yeah. I think we should, t before attacking Rom, we should take this moment to kill the spiders because during this first phase, Rom does not attack us with his magic. So we basically get to kill these spiders for no charge. Now they will try to attack you, so you gotta be careful. The spiders can do really good damage to you. Um, they're dangerous. They can move fast. They can do that plunge attack. And you have to hit them from the side or from behind. If you try to hit them from the front, they just got way too much armor on their face. Armor face spiders. Alright. And I wonder if it'll help to use like fire paper or something. Ah, I tried to see if I could get one more hit out of him before he totally, uh, vanished. Go, 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 go. Oh, the spiders are up. I hate the spiders. I hate spiders. Who doesn't hate spiders? Spiders are just creepy. No idea how to dodge this stuff reliably. What the heck? I've never seen them do that spit attack before. It's it's new as of uh, <laughs> this this playthrough. You know, I thought I knew what what this guy did, but apparently not. Uh, okay, I don't really feel like you hit me, but whatever. What the heck? Where did he go? Uh, okay. Jeez, can I please just get some attacks in here without all of you jumping all over me? Jumping spiders. Man, this is such a crap fight. This is so bogus. <laughs> oh gosh, this is this is terrible. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, Miyazaki. You totally like Bergen... I don't know what happened. I think well, he must have had the flu during Bergenworth or something. He must have been totally out of it. Drunk or something. Who knows? Yeah, maybe he was drunk when he designed Bergenworth. Okay. That was a near one shot. That's such crap. Didn't even have enough time to dodge it. Just, you know. Alright, where's he at? Where's this punk at? I love how, like, the there's a really, really low frame rate because of how far away the spiders are when they drop. Like, they drop at, like, 10 frames per second. Oh, this game and its frame rate. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay. It's just, I'm telling you, what, what what can you do about that? It just comes out of nowhere and kills you. I have no idea how to reliably dodge that. I guess I could look up the strategies in the guide, but a lot of them... I mean, <laughs> the guide for Dark Souls 2 was so funny because sometimes it would tell you that I mean, it was weird because you would see that he was trying to write the guide in a very professional way, as if the game were were well designed. But you could see that in some of the, the strategies for the bosses, he was kind of admitting the boss sucks. Oh, it's so. Oh, this game. Oh, it's it's just such a dichotomy of of awesomeness and crap all at the same time. What do you do with that? You know. Okay, so we got through the Forbidden Woods. Uh, and, oh yeah, I forgot this, the, the guidebook puts all the bosses at the back for some reason. I don't know why I've never heard of this before, but apparently this is a thing. Here we go, here's Rom. Alright, where is he, where is he, where is he? There he is, Rom, 
the cheater. Stock up on bolt paper. Okay, so bolt paper is the way to go. Shaman bone blades could be helpful during the second and third phases if you have access to them. Molotovs and throwing knives are only marginally useful. The tinnitus is extremely effective. Uh, the tonitus, or I don't know how it's pronounced, tonitus. Key strategies. Ram and his children are very weak against lightning, so use the tonitrus or power up other weapons with bolt paper to inflict the most possible damage. Both Ram and the small spiders take drastically reduced damage from attacks to their heads, so you have to quick step beside or behind them. Right, right, right. We got that. We got that. While fighting Ram, focus on attacking only one of his sides. These spots can be injured with repeated attacks, after which point they'll take additional damage when hit. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. So it says during phase two, um, it recommends to get rid of the spiders. When you're within three to four meters of him, he'll raise his head and tail while a swirling vortex of energy surrounds it, then release a spherical blast of energy after a short delay. All right, at a distance of two to eight meters, Ram will roll over onto his back and summon a ring of ice boulders out of the lake beneath you after a short delay. The boulders strike an enormous ring-shaped area centered on Rom, but will miss you if you're standing against his sides. You can also escape them by quick-stepping backward two to four times. If you're out of reach of both of these spells, Rom will rear up and summon barrages of ice boulders that will rain down on you from the sky no matter how far you are from him. These projectiles track your current location in real time, but will always target a small circle around and will never strike your exact position. To avoid being hit, stop moving as soon as he begins casting and watch the boulders carefully before dodging. Watch the boulders carefully before dodging. Hmm, I'm going to call BS on that strategy. I'm sorry, I don't... Is that a strategy? Stop moving and watch the boulders carefully before dodging? What does that mean? What does that mean? Watch the boulders carefully before dodging. I sense that the strategy is trying to hide the fact that there is no strategy. <laughs> if I were to write it, my, my response would be, yeah, when the boulders come from the sky, they're kind of a crapshoot. You don't really know how you're going to dodge them. Just roll over the place and hope for the best. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Bergenworth is total crap. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be salty during this because Bergenworth is just crap. It is, and... Um, there's just no way around that. Okay. I love the way they go face first into the water. It's kind of funny. Is that all the spiders? Yes, it is. Uh, let's focus on his right... Well, for me, right side. For him, I guess it's his left side. Come on. No, 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 no. What the heck? What's he doing? Why did he... Why did he take so long to disappear? That was weird. Why did he take so long to disappear that time? Usually he gets away really quickly. Actually, I'm wondering if we can just kind of spam... What? 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 What the heck? That's not fair. <laughs> That's so not fair. You can't do that. You can't you can't activate both phases simultaneously, you cheater. No, 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 no. Oh, this game. Oh god, this game. Oh, Bergenworth, you're such crap. 
Oh, Bergenworth, you're such crap. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. Imagine this on New Game Plus and Beyond. What a crapshoot. That was weird. I wonder if that was a, some sort of glitch or something. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep going. You know what they say when you step in when you step in dog crap. The best thing is just to keep moving, and that way you'll slowly grind it off of your boots. That definitely applies here. All right, here we go. We might not even get through this in this episode. So much crap. So much crap. Yeah, your BS detector should be in the red zone during this fight. That was a queued up attack. That was a button or input lag issue there. That extra attack. I, what the heck? Come on. Are you kidding me? What a freaking joke. I mean, gosh dang. What a joke. Wow, Miyazaki, you, you're, I mean, gosh, what is wrong with you, dude? Come on. Is that, is that how you create difficulty now? You just have stuff do massive amounts of damage? Is that all you got left? You don't have any better ideas? That's, that's what you do now? Man. How the mighty have fallen. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, this is like a joke. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is not funny. Yeah, I've watched some people on YouTube and on Twitch as well with this fight, and no one seems to have any really reliable strategy other than just, you know, dash all over the place wildly and hope for the best that you don't get hit by that crap. Um, I guess maybe we have time for one more attempt at this garbage, and then we'll have to uh, pick it up again from the next episode. All right, so we'll try one more time to, for this broken fight and see if we can get through it. And if not, uh, we'll have to pick it up in the next episode of Broken Bloodborne. Super crap edition. Why, guys? Why? Because difficulty. Because difficulty. All right, let's do this. Rom, the vacuumous spider. Why is he a vacuumous spider? What makes him a vacuum? <laughs> oh, God. oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, 
he put this in the game. It's really in the game. It's in the game. Oh my gosh. It's for real. Welcome to Bloodborne. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, I guess now we have time for another attempt. Maybe. Yeah, I guess we do. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like a joke. Let's pretend that we totally suck at boss design. And this is what we would make. I mean, you guys are seeing this. You guys have a front row seat to this garbage. All right. You know, I'm just going to try to ignore the spiders. Since they can now apparently one-shot me. <laughs> That's a new thing now. They are now one-shotting me. I don't, I don't know where that came from, but that's a thing now. <laughs> I just, I'm, it's, I'm almost at the point where I don't even care anymore. It's so stupid. Once upon a time, Miyazaki used to be a good designer. He worked on Demon Souls and Dark Souls, and then he just kind of lost it. I mean, there's no denying it. This this is some Dark Souls 2 stuff right here. I mean, you know, a spider with a whole bunch of other spiders remind you of Dark Souls 2. Definitely reminds me of Dark Souls 2. Alright guys, we're going to keep sludging through this trash uh, tomorrow, this trashy fight here. Uh, the whole of uh, Bergenworth, you know, we, we got we got up to the ROM, obviously, so we got through the rest of this garbage level, but now we gotta we gotta really get to the real stinker, ROM the vacuous crap. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so I'm sorry, guys, that you know that Miyazaki did this and he put this in the game. It's it sucks so much, you know, um, because when you have problems with ROM. When you start dying to him, that's when you realize just how bad of a of a fight it is. And um, it's sad. It's sad to see that Miyazaki fall down, you know, that hole like that. It's I don't know. I mean, you know, once he goes down that path, will he come back? Will he realize his mistakes? Uh, Tanimura didn't. So Tanimura never realized his mistakes. That guy is, you know, every time that guy goes in and, and directs, it's like he just takes a dump all over the soul's name and Dark Souls 2 ends up being a bigger joke than before. Like Shadow, uh, yeah, Shadow, uh, Scholar of the First Sin, it's just garbage. I mean, it's worse than the original game in, in countless ways. And so he just took the same basic idea of everything that made Dark Souls 2 bad and enhanced a lot of it to make it even worse. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode of our playthrough where hopefully we'll get beyond ROM and we can get to some better stuff, you know, and away from this garbage. Until then, guys, later.